Yeah, this is uh, Irrigator Tech, and uh, we're at the Bogart Park at the County of Riverside. And what we're doing today is that they have a big hill, which you'll see in the video, where the pipe comes down, goes over a little uh, dry bed where water comes down when the snow is here. And then what we got to do is we have to put in a two-inch backflow that the water department is requesting. So uh, right now we're going to be loosening up all the galvanized fittings and then getting everything prepped and everything. But we're out here at the County of Riverside at Bogart Park. Okay, so this is our main line that we're going to be tapping into. It's a two inch line. As I'll show you, it's, it runs way up this mountain to the left. And um, so it's going to come down, it's going to gain a lot of pressure from the elevation change. And as it's running across, uh, we're going to install a backflow. So there was never a backflow here before. The water agency actually owns this land here at Bogart Park, but they requested to have a backflow installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap it in right here. So we already, we're going to take apart the galvanized, we're going to install the backflow, and we're going to make sure that the water is being protected. So this is, um, this is something different, you know? We're running, well, we're in a creek right now, so the water runs down, so that's why it's suspended up in the air. So this is a little uh, different of an install, so we thought we'd bring it to everyone okay. here. What so. we're doing right now is I put the pipe dope on here. I've got the, uh, we want it to be 12 inches uh, tall off that main line. So I've got a union, I put pipe dope here, here, and I've got this. I've got my uh, backflow here, which is a Febco. And we're taking off the coupling over there. Leonard is, he's working on that. I'm working on the pipe dope. Brandon's prepping up stuff and Jose's filming. So uh, we're going step by step and gonna go with the procedures on everything and we'll uh, let you know as we go through it all. Okay, so now that we got this coupling off, what we're gonna do is actually clean the threads, but as you can see, there's very few threads on here. I'm looking at about like four threads. So what we're gonna do is use this threader and we're gonna actually clean and give a couple more threads. So when we put our 90 on, we know we have a good connection. So we have some lubricant. So Jose's gonna put a little bit of lubricant on. And so I'm gonna use this threader. And what we're gonna do is push this in. What it's gonna do is thread. There you go. Okay, so now I'm making some new threads in it. Turn it in reverse. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it off, turn the tool around, and simply unthread it. There we go, we cleaned those up nice and we gained a couple more threads to get a good bite on our 90. So you Bermuda Triangle? We're gonna put some pipe dope here. And you can use Teflon tape, but pipe dope on galvanized is much better. It's been used like this for many, many, many years. So it's always nice when you start something like this to make sure that threads as you back off, then pull it and stretch it and get it in there. We got some good threads there now. Okay, cool. All we gotta do is
And it's nice the size of this big yellow rigid pipe wrench because he has. And make sure because then if any time Leonard ever needs to take it apart, he can, uh, it could be 10 years later and he's, and the pipe will be just like new underneath it. Really does a good job. Kind of want to get it on the first threads and then as he, as we tighten it it will uh, just keep on pushing the pipe built back you put a nice little beam there prolonging the life of the the threads protecting them as well so we don't have you know leaks on it but at the same time it really makes it so it threads in nice and preserves the fitting itself I've had this uh, pipe wrench for probably 20 years. I think that's good. That's good. Yeah. I mean, we'll have it because we're removing the center of right. this. Mm -hmm. time around or no? No. Can you feel it start to grab? The first one you got to keep pressure on but then after that it starts to pull. 